Hi guys, Jeremy here, and today I'm gonna to talk about why most go high-level SaaS businesses fail. Now, this is something that I think a lot of us can relate to. So many people dive into this platform with high hopes and expecting quick wins, but it doesn't always work out that way. I wanna share some real and practical insights that will help you avoid the common mistakes and set yourself up for long-term success. But before we get into the video, let me share a special offer with you. So normally, if you go through Go High Level's website, you're gonna get a 14-day free trial. However, with my link, you'll receive a 30-day free trial. And on top of that, as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level offers many features and it's easy to get lost. So in my course, I highlight the most important aspects to focus on, helping you start making money in those first 30 days. Additionally, you are going to receive my top-notch, high-quality templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances, among others. Now, these are worth over $900, but you are going to get all of that for free as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description. Simply click the first link to find the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now, let's get into the video. So the two main reasons that most people fail to make money with Go High Level are expectations and focus. So let me break these down so that you can understand why they are so important. So the first reason is unrealistic expectations. So when people start using Go High Level, they often think that they're going to make thousands of dollars right away. You watch a YouTube video or you read an article and it all seems so easy. Just set up some automations, start selling, and the money will come rolling in. But the reality is that building a business, any business for that matter, it takes time and consistent effort. It's not a quick fix and it's definitely not a get rich quick scheme. In the beginning, many of us think that we can hit big numbers within the first few months. But the truth is that success in the SaaS space requires patience. You have to put in the work, face rejection, and stay consistent even when things aren't going well. There's going to be times when you feel like nothing is working, but that's when perseverance matters the most. It took me over a year to start seeing real results, and that was because I was willing to push through the hard times. Now, most of the YouTube videos that you see about making money with Go High Level set these sky-high expectations because they want you to sign up through their affiliate links. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I do think that it's important to be honest about how challenging the journey can be. It's not as simple as just setting up a system and watching the money roll in. There will be ups and there will be downs, and you need to be prepared for that. The reality is most businesses face setbacks and learning to navigate those setbacks is what will ultimately lead to success. Now, let's talk about the second reason why most people fail, which is lack of focus. Go High Level is an incredibly powerful platform, but for beginners, it can feel overwhelming. There are so many features and countless ways to make money with it. Now, this variety can be both good and bad. You see, when you're, you're starting out, it's easy to try and take on too much. You might want to sell every feature that Go High Level offers, websites, funnels, email marketing, reputation management, SMS campaigns, everything. But Trying to offer too many services at once can end up confusing potential clients. I made this mistake when I first started and it was hard to communicate the value of what I was offering. You see, clients didn't understand what they were getting and I couldn't explain it well enough. Eventually, I decided to focus on just one service, automated Google reviews. I had some experience with it and so I knew how it worked and I focused on getting really good at delivering that service. So when I narrowed my focus, I was able to become an expert in that area, which made a big difference. So instead of trying to sell everything, pick just one service that you understand well and can deliver consistently. Get really good at that one thing before you think about adding more services. So when you focus on just one area, you can become the best at it and that's what will make you stand out. It's much better to be known for doing one thing really well 
than to be average at a lot of different things. So the third important reason why most go high level businesses fail is not learning from your failures. You see, every time you face rejection or something doesn't work out as planned, there is a lesson to be learned. So early on, I faced a lot of rejection when pitching my services and it was tough, but I started to realize that each no brought me closer to a yes because I was learning what worked and what didn't. I adjusted my approach, I refined my pitch and gradually started seeing better results. You see, failure is a part of the process and the sooner that you can embrace that, the better off you're gonna be. For example, let's say that you try to sell your Go High Level service to a client, but they turn you down. Instead of getting discouraged, take a step back and think about what went wrong. Maybe your pitch wasn't clear, or maybe the client didn't understand the value of your service. So use this experience to refine your approach and make it better the next time. Every setback is a chance to improve and grow. When you're just starting out, it's also important to surround yourself with the right kind of support. Whether it's online communities, mentors, or peers who are on a similar journey, having people to turn to can help make a huge difference. There were times when I felt like giving up, but having a supportive community kept me going. Don't underestimate the power of having people who understand your struggles and can offer guidance when you need it the most. The fourth important reason why most go high level businesses fail is just not being willing to put in the hard work, even when it's not glamorous. You see, there were moments where you have to deal with the tough clients. You're going to have to deal with facing rejection or spending hours troubleshooting a problem that just doesn't seem to have a solution. These are the moments that define your journey. It's easy to stay motivated when everything is going well, but true growth happens when you push through the difficult times. Think of building your go high level business like setting up a complex automation. So at first it may seem confusing and there are many steps that could go wrong, but as you work through each part, you gain experience and confidence. The more challenges that you face, the more skilled you become. And each tough situation is an opportunity to learn and improve, making your business stronger in the process. Another thing that I want to mention is the importance of setting realistic goals. Too often people set goals that are so ambitious that they become discouraged when they don't reach them right away. Instead, here's what I would suggest. Break down those larger goals into smaller achievable milestones. Celebrate each win along the way and use that momentum to keep pushing forward. Progress might be slow at times, but as long as you're moving in the right direction, you're on the path to success. Lastly, I want to talk about the value of persistence. You see, when you're working on building a go high level business, it might feel like there's always something going wrong. Maybe a client cancels and automation doesn't work the way that you expected or a lead falls through. But the key is to keep going, even when it feels like nothing is working. There were countless times when I felt like giving up, especially during the early stages when nothing seemed to be working. But I kept going and eventually things started to click. For example, there was a time when I tried to set up an automated SMS campaign for a client and no matter what I did, it just wouldn't work as expected. So instead of giving up, I took time to learn more about the process, researched solutions and kept testing different approaches. Eventually I figured it out and that experience made me much more confident in handling similar issues in the future. The truth is most people give up just before they're about to succeed. If you can stay persistent, and keep putting in the effort, even when it feels like you're not getting anywhere, you'll be miles ahead of everyone else who gave up too soon. To sum it up, the reasons we have discussed today are crucial to understanding why many go high level businesses struggle and addressing these areas can make all the difference. If you're ready to take your go high level business to the next level, be sure to use my link to get a 30 day free trial instead of the usual 14 days. You'll also get access to my go high level jumpstart course and the premium notion templates to help you stay organized. All of these are free when you sign up using my link. So check out the link in the description below and get started today.